Why did you feel you had to speak out about gravity? Did you feel that responsibility? Oh, I, I don't speak out about, I mean, a movie has to earn my attention in that regard. The, the movie got so much else right, I'm thinking, okay, this, I will now note the couple of things. It was real, I, it was 10 tweets, that's all it was. And, <laughs> and people went that Sometimes. crazy the next morning. I wake up, uh, uh, Neil, did you see that it was on the Today Show? And it was on the, the and, and Brian Williams, and it was on the Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live talking about my damn tweets. It was just, I, it was just, I noticed a few things they got wrong. That's all. But I don't, I don't do this for like yeah. Star Wars. I don't say here's the physics that Star Wars got wrong. There's certain <laughs> movies that have not earned it because they made no attempt to get it right in the first place. So for me, it's, it's uh, at, oddly perhaps, it's the highest compliment I can give a movie to talk about it in that way. Mm -hmm. Because everything else was, you know, the, the most right thing they got was the satellite catastrophic destruction scenario. That's, an, that's a true thing that can happen. If you tomahawk out a satellite, in low Earth orbit, and make it into 10 pieces, just so the math comes out clean for this example, 10 pieces, and each one of those pieces hits another satellite, turns them into 10 pieces, and that goes on and on, and you go from 10 to 100 to 1,000, you rapidly destroy 100% of the satellites in orbit, and that's what they portrayed in that movie. Uh, I don't want to give it away to anybody, but <laughs> they, no they uh, and so, so that was good. That, that, that was good. I got, I'm with that. But I still think her hair should have stood up in zero G. You've seen <laughs> astronauts. You've seen images of astronauts. That's the first thing you notice. The hair is all puffy, right? Mm -hmm. And standing up on end, but they didn't do that. Too much moose or it was a wig. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, and, and here's, can I just give, there's, some, there, there's, there's liberties they took that I'll give, them, I'll give them this. Mark Twain once said, first get your facts straight, then distort them at your leisure. Okay? So here's an example. She's tearing up, and then one of the tears yeah, that. comes out and floats in front of her. And then the camera zooms in, and you see a reflection of the inner cab uh, cabin on the tear. This is beautiful and poignant. Okay, it turns out a tear will not do, they've done this experiment. <laughs> the, the, tear, the surface tension of the tear will have it just stick to your cheek, all right? Yeah, you ever cried and the tear comes under your chin and goes horizontal under your chin? It doesn't just drip out of your eyes like in cartoons where tears just fly out. So, but they wanted this poignancy, so you give them that. I go, go on, let the tear come out. I'm okay with that. 